Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on SAP Build Process Automation Training on Business Technology Platform. In this series of videos, we are learning how to use the concepts of SAP Build Process Automation, the SAP IRPA capabilities with Build Process Automation using Desktop Agent to perform most of the manual work in an automated way. In this series, so far we have learned how to use MS Excel and automate MS Excel to extract and prepare Excel data. In our today's session, we are going to learn how to use MS Outlook automation to read automatically the emails from the Outlook using SAP Build Process Automation Outlook SDK. So let's get started. What you will see in today's class is an automation for MS Outlook with the emails. We will understand our scenario. We will understand how to enable the Outlook SDK for automation. Adding the Outlook SDK to the settings of your build process automation project and creating an Outlook instance. Then we will learn how to read emails and the total email count which are there in your Outlook. If you have different email boxes in the same Outlook configured, how do you use it? We will then understand writing an infinite loop to read all the emails one by one and then an exit condition to come out of the loop. Then we will see how to use uh, read email subjects and email IDs and especially the attachments of an email and download these attachments in our local machine with our scenario. So let's get started. The Outlook SDK in SAP Build Automation is providing you the collection of activities which allowing us to create automations using Microsoft Outlook. It becomes, it comes with a rich set of functionality. For example, using this you can search email, read email, read email subjects and the content of course, download the email attachments, you can trigger reply to the email along with some of the administrative tasks like moving an email from an one Outlook folder to another. All these are manual activities which a user would perform, which we are going to automate with the Outlook SDK. So what's our scenario for today? Meet Melania. She is working in the HR department of our company. She is a, a relatively new experienced colleague in the company and her job is to come in the morning, open the central inbox for HR of our company and download all the profiles which has come for applying jobs in our organization. She has to read through each and every single email and download the profile which is attached in each email to the computer. For this work, she is currently doing it manually by <laughs> coming into the morning and reading every email one by one and downloading these attachments one by one. We would like to automate this process for her. We would like to bring down the effort for her and utilize the SAP build process automation to simplify her job. So that is what we're going to do. So as usual, let's get started and understand how can we achieve the same. I will head over back to SAP build process automation cockpit and then here I'm going to create a new project. So let's create a new automation with process. You can also do task automation alone. So maybe for a change I'll show you task automation. I give a project name let's say Outlook and Outlook automation for Melania and click on create. Now that creates a project for us as usual but now in this we can add automation tasks. So I don't want to create a complete build process. I just want to create a automated task. Now the very first question as you always know it asks us to use the agent version. So I'm going to use the current agent version which I have installed in my system. In this video series we have already seen how to set up the desktop agent in our computers. So we click on confirm 
and give the name of the automation task. So I can say uh, read HR emails. Read HR emails and download attachments. I click on create button. So this will now start the, my automation cockpit or so called automation studio where I can configure my automation now for the outlook. So it's just booting up, give it a time and there you go. You can see it has started my studio, automation studio, RPA studio where I can now configure my automation. Now very first thing which you need to check and do is go to this setting icon and click on dependencies. And you can see already it has added the core dependency and Excel dependency automatically. But currently this automation is not capable of building an automation for the purpose of uh, for the purpose of Outlook. So we have to add the Outlook SDK to this automation. To be able to do that we can say add business process project dependency and then search here the Outlook SDK. Now there is one catch here. If you are using the SAP BTP, sometime it will only show like three or four SDKs here. Yeah, And even you click show more button, it won't work. So be very, very careful. You have to type in here. For example, if in the future I want to add UI5 automation, then I have to search UI5 here. When you search it, then it will show. Yeah, So be very, very careful with this tool. Sometime it may not show you the Outlook SDK. So you have to type in this drop down. So I type Outlook and there you go. It comes. So this is a catch. I was also confused initially when I started my journey long back. So I was not able to find Outlook SDK there. So you have to type it and then you get it. I choose it and click on add button. So this is a prerequisite which we all need to add in order to use the Outlook automation with SAP build process automation. So click on close now. And now we can begin to model our automation here. So I also make sure that my Outlook account is configured and it's open already here. So let me show you. This is a account which I've already created for the demonstration purpose from Anubhav trainings. And you can see I have already received two emails which also contains some attachments. So my first step will be to read the initialize my Outlook SDK and actually read the number of email count first of all. So let's do so. So I can come back here to the studio and I search for a open Outlook instance. So I just search for Outlook and I will be finding all the relevant tasks activities which I can perform for Outlook automation. So I will be choosing open Outlook and I will choose open Outlook instance to basically initialize my SDK to start using the Outlook specific tasks. Then we can just say search email and search email. Yes, for Outlook, drag and drop that activity. And now here, you need to specify the search criteria. The good thing is you can define different search criteria. For example, sort the result by a certain date, outlook date or you know time or subject. You can filter out certain emails like emails which only have the profiles, right? Then we can also profile the, uh, the sort order. Now it is mandatory to create some search criteria. Yes, so we will choose this option and choose create custom data. So select here, create custom data. And now you can see it has kept the configuration. Now, if you want to look into a specific folder of your Outlook, you can always type in the folder address like invoices slash to create. If you don't do that, then by default, it will look in the inbox folder. Sometime in the Outlook, you also configure multiple mail IDs. So here you can specify the mail account, the other mail account as well where you want to look upon in the emails. So that we are going to provide here. So that is the custom data. I'm not touching anything more than that. My next step would be to get the email number. So basically count the number of emails. So what I will do, I will say get 
email number so you can expand little bit so get emails number yeah context so what is context context means once you set here what is that your search criteria would be that becomes your context so the outlook sdk will look your outlook for that particular criteria and it will pull out all those emails there yes so here is where you get the number of count of the email corresponding to that context since i have not given any much criteria I've just kept inbox it is going to give me the count of all the emails in my inbox fantastic now next step would be to add a message so let's print the number of emails so let's log and i can say edit the number of emails in anubhav trainings account are concatenate my last step yes what is my last step my last step is three dot count so there is a count variable my last step is returning me i'm going to print that perfect save the expression cool we can save the automation and now it's time for testing so you can already see that in my outlook i have got two emails as a result of that in the console we are going to get the response as two as a number of emails in my account so let's test our automation it runs in the design mode and we are going to get here the count of email in the console as a outcome So it is configuring my desktop agent, contacting my agent, which in turn that contacts my Outlook instance and it will search the emails based on the contacts and returns me the data. And Vahala, you can see the number of email in Anubhav training account are two. So there are two emails in my account and it returns me the count exactly. Superb.